Good evening. I think it's time to continue with our mini-series on the massive number of lines proposed by the Railway London Plan Committee in 1946. As last time we looked at Route 1, it follows logically that we will today look at Route 9. Sorry, I mean Route 2. As with Route 1, the aims of Route 2 were to relieve congestion in the centre of London and replace railways in South London. The line would have run from Chalk Farm to Queen's Road, Peckham, and the route is quite interesting. At Chalk Farm, Route 2 was to connect with the main line. This shop is built into the old Chalk Farm station building, and you can still see the abandoned platforms. Then it would shadow the route of the Northern Line from Chalk Farm to Euston, passing through Camden Town and Mornington Crescent. Then it appears as it was intended to veer off towards Hoban, where it would start shadowing the Central Line. I'll be honest, friends, the map is a bit of a mess here. But it appears that the stations en route would have been some or all of Hoban, Chancery Lane, St Paul's and Bank. There's shades of crossrail here. From Bank, it would head under the river. It's worth noting that there was, and still is, an abandoned tunnel under the river from Bank, which had formerly been used by the City and South London Railway before they expanded north. I don't know if this line would have used that, but it would make a lot of sense. Having crossed the river, it would pass through Tower Bridge Road Station. This would have been an entirely new station to replace London Bridge, and would likely have been underground. As in, not an underground station, but a station that is under the ground. The next station was South Bermondsey. One of the big goals of the Railways Open Bracket London Plan Close Bracket Committee, who devised all these routes, was to get rid of the viaduct in South London. So, presumably, this line would have been underground, and there would have been a new South Bermondsey station. At Queen's Road, or what is now Queen's Road Peckham, they changed the name later on, it would have resurfaced and joined the main line. And there ends Route 2. Now, as I say, this was published in 1946, based on the findings of a committee formed in 1944, but I do wonder if something like this was planned earlier. During the Second World War, a number of deep-level air raid shelters were constructed by London Transport, and a popular supposition is that these were going to be linked together to form a new underground line. This is disputed by some underground historians, but let's see how they line up with Route 2. There isn't one at Chalk Farm, so great start there, but this is where the line would have gone under, where it would have effectively begun. There is one at Camden Town. There isn't one at Mornington Crescent, but it's possible that the line was going to skip this. Mornington Crescent was never a very heavily used station. There's no shelter at Euston, but what there is, is an abandoned underground station. Or possibly was by the time you see this. At the time of writing, it's still there, but it's scheduled for demolition. Thank you, High Speed 2. There was one at Chancery Lane. One was planned for St Paul's, but the cathedral authorities objected to the idea of tunnelling nearby for fear of damaging Sir Christopher Wren's masterpiece. Which is a bit rich, given that Wren wanted to demolish the whole of London, but there we go, no shelter at St Paul's. I guess he could dish it out, but he couldn't take it. And as I say, there was an abandoned tunnel and station at Bank. So had things gone to plan, there would have been a fair bit of infrastructure already in place. But this is just a lot of guesswork on my part. Or maybe it's all nonsense and actual historians are laughing at me. Hello all, I hope you enjoyed this secondary tale from the tube. If you did, then you may wish to hit that there like button and subscribe and hit the bell icon for more. As always, I'd like to thank my donors on Ko-fi and Patreon for being the deep-level shelters to my proposed underground line. And I'll see you all again very soon for another tale from the tube.